So to eliminate the engineer frustration, I have to say something. As you'll see here, you have a group of uh, switches and they use a key. Normally only a responsible person should have a key. No, everybody should play with these switches. And because that has not been respected, our client decided to eliminate the uh, option where you can put the boilers, the air handling units, the chillers on manual mode. Now, this is a good bad, and bad thing because, as I said before, as a engineer, when I come here to do my tests, I don't have the possibility to put the system on manual mode and I have to make a call to the people which remotely can uh, alter the function of this uh, building management controls to force the unit and that's a time consuming because if I want to check my boiler to do combustion analysis I need the boilers to run and I cannot afford to wait five hours until the boilers will turn on people always scared of fancy words which uh, this uh, nerd uh, start to put on the paper. So it's kind of scary things um, IP, TCP IP, Modbus, BACnet, Mnet, blah 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 blah. We all know what net means. You can connect many units in between themselves. There are a lot of way of wiring. What you have to remember instead, and this is for my colleagues and you really have to think about this. This building management control have a soft download inside and the software it is as per client demands the running protocol the control philosophy is written by a smart guy but it respect the client uh, demands to so have the client desired performance as we said before we get um, this uh, digital output which is our free voltage relays so I'll give you an example. You can take the power from a circuit breaker or you can get a signal from something and then you can close the relay to send it back or there is a million way of wiring. All you have to know, it is a free voltage relay, normal close, normal on, and um, this will be activated accordingly to the information taken by uh, this building management control through the probes input or through the universal input or through the status input this is a virtual wiring so you can do everything you want with this one it's got its own limitations not like a leather logic but it is all right every time you turn up to one uh, store i just uh, want you not to be scared if you will see that the boiler it is integrated and it is centralized people have habits to interfere with the boiler and to enable them and if you don't know how you don't have to worry about First, you have to have a look if you have these privileges removed, which is happening unfortunately a lot. Then you have to find out uh, boilers are enabled. And if they're not enabled, obviously, uh, sometimes you can play directly with the boilers and uh, you can gain the control on a local controller. But sometimes you can't because the level of integration is a bit higher. You don't have this option. And then you have to understand how this uh, building management control works, which is very important. You can make a call to the company which remotely control this, but sometime when the company loses the contract, the company doesn't care. Then the headache just start. Uh, with multiple occasions, my colleague been uh, terrorized by uh, the client. Uh, it's a not right way to put it, but I mean, we've been, uh, somehow guilty because system doesn't work without knowing that sometimes the software is not correct the running protocol is not correct the control philosophy have a little bit of glitches here and there so i've learned all this system how they work just because i wanted to protect myself so now i know if this uh, system doesn't start the pump because it's got a software problem inside you try to start the boiler the boiler doesn't start so the signal sent to the boiler will receive back from the boiler a signal that is not running and if it's not running you will raise a boiler alarm so as a gas engineer i will come to the boiler and normally i should focus on the boilers but then i see the pump is not running and then i'm checking the output i see the pump is not running i'm going to the pump 
Yes, indeed, the pump not run is not running, so the differential pressure switch is not sending back the signal to tell to this system the pump is running, and then I have to see further how the system works and then you discover the pressurization unit it is off because it's got a problem a uh, lime scale inside and it's off now if that one it's off obviously the pump doesn't work and the pump will hold off the boiler and if the integration is not properly done and the program is not correctly written you'll have a headache if you don't understand how the system works it's not enough to be a control engineer also you have to be a hvac engineer to understand how the system works and then you wouldn't have any problem to identify the reason why the system is not working so they interconnected when you're a HVAC engineer you have to know control you have to know electric you have to know HVAC you have to know boilers and if uh, I can be of any help if you'll follow this YouTube you'll have my phone number and you can call me anytime to advise you if you get some time in trouble with uh, building management controls um, I'm not going very deep in the software, but I can give you some hints here and there to make so your life easier. What we're we talking about here, this is the control. I'm going a little bit further, so you'll see the entire controller. So this is the control panel. Uh, from here, we're controlling the boiler room. Sometimes people like to control more features from boiler room, air handling units, etc. But with this occasion, we control the boiler room the boiler temperature is all right 64 degrees but that's not something I want to talk today we have this control panel and then uh, the system heating system and cooling system into these buildings is controlled by a group of uh, building management controls intuitive controllers IMP2 as I explained before on the top side we have uh, digital outputs normal close normal on relay they basically free voltage relay so you will send the signal and then the signal will go back and you will enable either a boiler or a hot water heater or pressurization unit or whatever you want to enable and uh, on the lower side we have the status input which will tell you that uh, if the unit runs or not and uh, we have the universal inputs and outputs which will collect data and we will also provide uh, the outputs which will like not to 10 volts or zero or 4 to 20 milliamps and then uh, we'll have uh, the probes inputs and the probe input refers to thermal resistors like uh, uh, all these sensors uh, into the boilers in the stores anywhere you have sensors and some other features which basically uses analog uh, information to send that information into this uh, building management control so basically we have uh, the digital uh, outputs on the top and then we have the status inputs which will tell you if the pump or something runs or not this will be only a digital input the status input and then we have the universal inputs and output which are uh, all these uh, thermal resistors and um, this uh, analog uh, like uh, differential pressures once we establish this what do we have here on the lower side we have uh, back hd 150 which controls the mitsubishi network it's an mnet basically and it controls the mitsubishi air conditioning units it's not a very complicated system it's straightforward easy to investigate especially you have the drawings and uh, I don't think a technician would have a problem to identify any fault here because it's quite straightforward we just have another little I think it's a multiplexer interface which uh, gets uh, information from uh, the building management control it's a not to 10 volts and then you will enable some other circuits this is used sometime when you don't have enough uh, digital outputs and you want to use uh, more digital output you can use one of this uh, analog uh, output from the building uh, building management control to progressively enable uh, other two digital outputs it's a conversion analog to digital output and that's not very complicated this um, hd 150 bm adapter mitsubishi 
it is a backnet to the resource data manager and the resource data manager works directly with the intuitive controller this is the same vendor but then mitsubishi will communicate with uh, the resource data manager everybody knows that modicon, modicon in uh, 1987 uh, have the fantastic idea of Darknet, which allows uh, building management controls from different vendors or PLCs to communicate so you don't have to be uh, obliged, I mean, you don't have to be forced to use the same vendor's product and that's great. This is the building management control and this is the control panel, as you will see here. Now we have the boiler, which uh, if I go uh, behind, I can tell you what boiler it is. It's an Elko boiler. I have a problem with this uh, boiler about one year ago. It lost the EEPROM electrical, electrical erasable electronic memory. What we have here, we have a spire vent. This is a degasser, which I sincerely disagree to use a degasser in the system. I have a positive pressure. So why should I take the gas out? I rather balance the systems uh, I'm using inhibitors, so the system won't have gas inside. Why should I take the gas out? I don't know, but anyway, it's not my business.